Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day because I am. I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the gradient tool in Photoshop, really. So it's really easy to do. Um, all you got to do is make sure that you have a good feeling with the gradient tool because that will really allow you to function around Photoshop really easier and quicker. So what I like to do first is I like to go and use my gradient tool. I don't usually use this tool a lot. But when I do, it's it's the gradient tool, okay? Um, so what you can do here is actually I have my own preset here. I don't know why this is like this, but when you first click this, it's gonna be like this, okay? It's gonna be all standard. Um, so when you click here, it's gonna be the gradient tool, of course. Make sure that there's a shortcut G, I believe, but there's also other shortcuts with G, so I don't know. Just click, just go to here. Um, and what this allows you to do is it creates this cool looking gradient effect. It goes from a color, dark color, to a lighter color or any color in, in, in that fact. Um, and this pretty much allows you to create really cool backgrounds if you wanted to do that or do in a shape, anything. This is just how to use the gradient and how to do gradient. So let me go ahead and begin by going back to my um, to going I want to go back all right so let's go ahead and begin so the first one is the linear uh, linear gradient which is this plain boring one which I don't really like because the colors are boring the next one we have is the radial looks like this pretty standard right the next one we have is it's kind of weird I never even used this but it's the angle gradient it looks I don't know, it looks weird, um, kind of, I guess you could use this for like, um, I honestly don't know what you could use this for, but I honestly never use this, it kind of looks sort of like a, like a sphere, I have no idea what I could use for this, but sorry, but I never really use this tool, I don't even know why it's in here, um, <laughs> the next one is the, um, reflected gradient, and this, this does come in handy, um, rather than the other weird one. But this is a reflected one, like the linear, but on both sides. So if I wanted to draw it down straight like this, or like this, it's gonna reflect whatever is on the other side, okay? Maybe I want it this way, well, there you go. I didn't, I forgot to tell you that the, on any of these gradients, that the longer you drag, the further you drag away from the anchor point right here, this is, by the way, the tail right here. Um, the, the further apart, the longer the fade. So the color will fade into another color. So in this case, it'll go black to white. And then it'll go, my center, an my anchor point is going to be black. And my tail is going to be white, as you can see. See? Um, so what if you don't want it to be so long like this? Well, the, lo the less or the shorter it is, the smaller the fade is right here in between black and white right here. You can see the fade. So that's kind of comes in handy, I guess. Um, and the last one we have is the, um, I forgot it's called the diamond gradient. Yeah. The diamond, the diamond gradient is really cool. It's the same thing. The longer, you, you know, the further away from the anchor point, the bigger it is. And the, um, the, the, the bigger the fade. So, I never use this, um, it can come in handy, but I don't use it. So now I'm gonna show you how to change the color, okay? So if you click on this one right here in the middle, and I'll click this little icon, this will just bring up the preset, the presets, so you could maybe have quick access to it, you know, be really colorful, or maybe you wanna create a new gradient. I'll go over this after, but if you wanna change the color, you can click this little uh, color icon there and it'll bring up the gradient editor. Here you can have um, or select presets that Photoshop has included. You could have these boring colors. Um, well, I call it boring because it looks weird. But say you wanted your own custom color, really easy. First, you can either click this right here and click the color or just double click this square. Uh, I like to click this because sometimes I mess up and I click this or this. I don't know, it's based on personal preference. So maybe I wanted to go with a red, okay, and I click OK. So this is going to be our anchor point. You know where we click and then we drag. 
this is going to be our first color. This right here at the end is going to, what it's going to fade. Okay, so I want to change the color to a lighter red, sort of like a pinkish color. So, like uh, something, something like uh, like this. Okay, that looks good enough. You can also like say um, every time, or maybe you don't want to do this over and over again when you create a gradient. You could actually name this. So I'm just uh, have it at custom. You create a uh, a new gradient uh, preset, custom preset, and we'll add it to the presets here, so you can have a, a quick access to it earlier after. Um, so I'm gonna click OK. So now you can see that I have the color; it has changed. So now if I go like this, it will give you this cool looking gradient that you have created with the colors. Maybe I wanted a radial. Well, you could do that as well, like this. It looks really nice, but. It looks really weird like this, how it goes from a light to a dark. I like it having it reversed. So if you go to the top, you will see a word right here that says reverse. And there's a box. Make sure that's checked. And when you do it again, it's going to be like this. It's going to look way much better. Okay. Now, I didn't tell you this, but you can see that it's not straight in a straight line. Well, if you hold shift, this will allow you to have it straight. Because you can also have it at 45 degrees. Um, want to be really technical I can have it up or down left and right all over okay I'll, I like to use it um, I, I usually use it when I hold uh, when I do my radials I hold down shift and I drag up and that will have a cool cool stuff but um, maybe you wanted to add more colors to it and you can click right here in the middle just in an empty spot uh, don't click here this will just sample the color so click here and it and it will add another box this box you can change the color like you did right here where it says color click the, the right here and you can add another color say you wanted a like a a darker red like a cherry red sort of red and I click OK you can also um what a you could also um what was I gonna say you could also change it to uh, like have it changed different uh, view options. I don't know what these are called, but you can have it to change a different viewing option. So you, maybe you want it like this, you could do that as well. You know, it's personal preference. You can have it like this. Uh, you can have it like this, like this, well, like this. I like to have it normal because it's I'm used to it. So uh, I'm gonna click OK. Now, maybe you didn't want to go and look for the colors. You can also input your hash, uh, hash code, I believe. That's what it's called. Uh, and you could like literally type it in so like nine or five or something so that's really cool I'm gonna click okay so here it is now it's gonna go light and then it's gonna go dark and then it's gonna fade off like this maybe I wanted this color to be the same as this one instead of looking for like instead of clicking here and going and finding the color what you could do is you can actually click on this and sample this color right here and then we'll sample it pretty cool huh um now Say like you want to see this little um, thing here. This will allow you to change the fade. Like you want it, uh, see where it says location, that changes. So the further you have it, like 92% from this point to this, no, from this, yeah, from this point to the other point, that will be 90%. Um, actually, my bad, sorry. It's going to be from this point to this point because it's in between these two. So, yeah, this will change the fade here. Let me change the color so you guys can see. I'm gonna change it to like blue or something. So you can see that um, the fade changes. So you can also do it right here as well. Um, instead of clicking on there, oops, let me undo that. You will see that there's another diamond. And it's really easy. Um, whoops. So you would have to click on here, click on any of these two boxes. You could also click the middle. If you click the middle, it'll give you the both of these because these are the end. These are pretty much the whiskers, I could say, of the left whisker and the right whisker and this will allow you to change the fade in between between this point and this point it will be 51 percent so here maybe you want um, 11 percent of red or maybe you want 90 or 75 percent of red depends you know so maybe you want to change this as well you could do that too um, so yeah it's really really cool you, you can do a lot of stuff you can play around with a lot of stuff in Photoshop you can change the smoothness you can do a solid 
you know a lot of stuff. You can also load custom presets to photo into your presets into your gradient editor window. So if I click OK, hold down Shift if I want to, you can see that it creates a. Whoa, that looks cool. You can see that it creates a the color that you picked. Um, so maybe I don't want it reversed. Uncheck the box, and it'll be like this. So if this um, tutorial helped you in any way, I know I didn't go over every single thing because there is a lot to go over. So you can see if I go over to the down arrow right next to it, you can see that I have my custom presets here. The one that I had created earlier, which is really, really cool. I want it reversed. Go bam. So um, if this helped you in any way, please, please leave a like in the description. I know I didn't go over a lot of stuff. You know, as I told you before, there's a lot of stuff in the gradients that I can't go over. So yeah, um, if you guys want to go ahead and leave a comment below if this helped you or if you have any questions regarding this video, then please, you know, please feel free. Um, subscribe. Um, I do post a lot of Photoshop tutorials. And I'll catch you guys um, on my next video. Peace.